Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, okay? But we all know the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. I do have two more weeklies to do, or the next seven days, whatever. Um, those are going to be done after this, so let's just see what we have for today. Oh, we have one fallout. I think we got a ticket. Ooh, the Emperor reversed. So the Emperor reversed is somebody that doesn't take responsibility, not interested in helping. This is a corrupt leader. This is somebody that engages in criminal activity for their own good. Somebody that is power hungry, controlling, entitled, you know, doesn't take care of other people, only cares about themselves. So let's see what we got here. Judgment. Ooh, karma. I'm sorry that that excites me, but it does. Anyhow, um, you know, I can't hide my excitement at times, and I don't pretend to, okay? This isn't about being politically correct, all right? And every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reason. Reading is a reason, okay? And, and they, they've been speaking. I've been messing up like crazy, but really they're not mess-ups because there's no such thing as coincidence. So judgment is truth. It's truth being revealed about this person. This person is a tyrant. And they are about to be judged for their actions. There is some sort of judgment it's, is coming for this person's actions. Now this person is in some sort of position of authority. Or they think that they are. They may be losing their control, losing their power. They're going to be held accountable for their actions. So whoever this person is, we got somebody that has deserted somebody or just hasn't done the right thing for the people involved. There could be some sort of awakening that is going on because judgment is a card of awakening. Whatever is happening, responsibility is being assigned. This person is about to get a wake-up call. Now, judgment is an ending. It's the end of a trial. The verdict is in. This person is corrupt, and that's the truth. A star card. This is protection. Everything happens for a reason. It's interesting that reason came out of my mouth. This is unexpected help. This is a new purpose. A wish being granted. Prayers being answered. Somebody's prayers are being answered. And I got to tell you, we got three cards, and these three cards are majors. So this is universally driven. And this is a life-changing moment. It's a life-changing decision. This may have to do with forgiveness. It's like, will you be accepted? Will you be forgiven? This is repentance for sins, you know, judgment day. Somebody may have been praying for the truth to come out or praying for karma. You know, th this is prayers, right? We could be dealing with a father figure, a boss. Um, oh, this doesn't have to be. This could be a husband, could be a boyfriend, could be a wife. This is somebody that is narcissistic, okay, or a tyrant that is very, very controlling. They have abused their power and they are about to be judged. There is some sort of universal protection here. Now this is 
being judged for their past choices. Page of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is somebody that doesn't follow through. They don't follow through with plans. They may make plans, but they don't follow through. They have a, a one-track mind. This is somebody that they have a one-track mind. They, they uh, don't care who they hurt. Page of Pentacles reversed. This is lack of integrity will not apologize, will not accept responsibility. There's somebody here that doesn't accept responsibility at all for their actions, and they're about to be judged. And I don't know if it's from the law or the universe or whatever. This is, this is a dropout. This is somebody that lacks common sense, that really doesn't want responsibility, that isn't interested in helping, that isn't interested in being honest, and they are about to... Uh, deal with some consequences, I believe. Six of Wands, or the Six of Wands is progress, victory, public recognition. And there could be a, an awakening here. We may have the people, because this is like a king, right? It's it's a king or a ruler, somebody that is an, it's a corrupt leader. This is somebody that is in a position of authority that has made a judgment call that wasn't practical, okay? It wasn't realistic. It wasn't uh, in the best interest of the people around them. All they cared about was themselves because the emperor is a ruler, you know, this person makes decisions and they, they did it in a corrupt manner. There is some sort of universal guidance here, universal protection. I know that there is. This is public recognition. So the public could maybe recognizing who this person really is. This, I'm not sure if there is something to do with being famous. You know, the star, the star can, be, it can mean famous, you know, a star. Anyhow, this six of wands is victory after sorrow. It is the end of a battle, the end of a competition, and being recognized for valor. So there is somebody that is being recognized for... Um, persevering through a situation with this person, whoever this person is. Whoever whoever this person is that has had to battle is about to receive some sort of public recognition. There is protection. There is some sort of protection. There's help arriving. This could also be you know, when I see the Six of Wands, this is a hero, this is a warrior, this is somebody that is very noble, that is highly respected, that is getting some sort of recognition for all that they have been through, for persevering against this corrupt individual. Everything happens for a reason. I feel like there is something, uh, who whoever was... Uh, rejected or abused is going to be getting a wish granted. This is a wish being granted. This person is good, is losing their power. They're losing control, and it feels like if they they they're not being accepted. They're, they 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 may have hoped that they would be accepted, but I don't think they're going to be accepted. I feel like there's consequences. This is a no. You didn't follow through. You didn't do what you said you were going to do. This is somebody that uh, gives up prematurely, you know. 
may paint a picture of solid, stable, secure, but they're not. Anyhow, this is this is victory after sorrow, progress being made. This is famous as well. So I'm not sure if we're dealing with somebody that is famous here. Somebody's going to be getting some public recognition. I'm just saying. This is the end of things. Judgment is the end of things. This, it is, will you be forgiven? Will you be accepted? This is a yes answer, though. This, who, I think we have two people here, but this is a no. This person is not going to be accepted. And it's because they have deserted somebody in their time of need. They were corrupt. They did something for their own good and didn't care. Everything happens for a reason. Rejection is protection. This person has persevered through a battle. The war is over. Now a wish is being granted. Unexpected help is arriving. Queen of Swords reversed. Oh my goodness. Ew. The Queen of Swords reversed. The Queen of Swords reversed is somebody that is hard to deal with. Very hard to deal with. Um, chooses to be alone. Doesn't open her heart. Doesn't trust. There is somebody that is coming in to help somebody heal. Because this is a card of healing. This is somebody that is noble. This is somebody that has uh, already persevered through some sort of battle themselves. They are coming to help somebody heal. Maybe it's the people. Because you see all the people in the background. There's gonna, there is some sort of healing that is coming. This is healing. This is healing. Somebody went down a path with a narcissist that abused them. Anyhow, there is protection from somebody that has passed. This is protection. This is somebody that has passed, like passed away. Could be a mother. Anyhow, um, this Queen of Swords in reverse doesn't trust, has been hurt really, really badly. Six of Coins reverse. Something's being taken away. There has been an abuse of power. There has been. Somebody was greedy. They were selfish. They took something. They took something from another person. You know, star card is dreams. So it's like dreams. It's shattered dreams. We have a very selfish individual here who has made somebody bitter. This is bitter. It is. Anyhow, the Six of Pentacles reversed is an abuse of power. This is a fraud. It is a con. And it's mirroring this person. So we definitely have this, this con man that is about to lose something. there, And maybe it's money. They could be losing a job or losing revenue or losing money because of their or, or position. They could be getting fired. Somebody is losing something. They're losing something of value because of their behavior. That is their karma. They are about to receive some karma. 
This is somebody that is very, very mean. It's an injustice. The six of six of pentacles is an injustice. But the star card is a card of protection. And this is rejection. The six of pentacles reverse is rejection. Rejection is protection. Okay? So somebody was protected by a tyrant. This tyrant may have rejected them in their time of need. Now this tyrant is about to get their karma. And the person that they rejected is about to get theirs. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Oh my God. This person right here is losing money. They could be, they could, this is total ruin. Collapse of an empire. Somebody is about to lose their position, lose their business, lose their job. They're losing money. It's not stable. It's not secure. This abusive individual is going to be losing their position. This is short-lived success, financial disaster, huge loss, losing it all, massive debt, false impressions, illegal dealings. Somebody has been doing something illegal. They have. And there, I feel like there could be, I don't know if there's an informant. They may have dealt with somebody that is younger, that, you know, is a younger version of themselves. And wants control. Karma works in mysterious ways. Ten of Pentacles reverse is bad business. And there's fighting over money. This is a family quarrel or a family feud. Somebody is about to lose something big, huge. This person that they, they have caused to maybe shut down their emotions, block their emotions, is going to be receiving some help. Is going to be receiving victory after sorrow from this person that, I don't know, abandoned them? Abused them? Six of Pentacles reverse. We have a fraud here. We do. We may have somebody here that it has been hoping for reconciliation with this narcissist. You know, because people, you know, this is hoping, reconciliation, narcissist. Somebody, people, it, sometimes, it takes a long time for people to wake up. This is awakening. It's seeing the truth. And it's epiphany, you know, somebody may be waking up to that. They were dealing with a narcissist, dealing with a tyrant. This is not seeing clearly the ten of, uh, or the queen of uh, swords reverse. That's lack of clarity. That's not logical. We definitely have an unforgiving energy here as well. Somebody may have been hoping for a reconciliation with somebody that, that they hurt or vice versa. The Queen of Swords is somebody that is very hard to deal with. She, she gets hurt and she puts up that protective barrier. There's a protective barrier here and doesn't let anybody in. But there is somebody coming in. There is somebody coming in to help this person heal. There is. This is somebody that is noble and highly respected. But I feel like this person is not going to want to give. Doesn't really want to give to it because they want to protect themselves. Because they dealt with a tyrant in the past. It is what it is. So, anyhow. 
this is so anyway we have this tyrant that is about to lose it all and maybe they're losing it all to this person that is coming in this noble individual that is going to help this other person that is bitter heal whoever this person is that is coming in to help this is coming in this is help is a warrior this person is a warrior this person is a fighter this person doesn't give up this person doesn't quit this person is strong so anyway I do believe that we have a tyrant that is about to get some karma and we have the person that they hurt that is about to receive some help. It feels like this. This is prayers. It is the star card is prayers being answered. It is. It is somebody's prayers are being answered. Truth is coming out. We have somebody here that is losing their power. They're losing their position over another person. And, they're, and, and part of the karma is losing it all. It's not just losing the person. It's losing the money. It's losing the financial stability. It's losing it all with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. We have an unstable business or home life here that is going to crumble. Or it's crumbling now. It, there's definitely false impressions here. Karma never loses an address, right? One more card. It's going to be given to somebody else. Ah, the lovers. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So yeah, it's gonna be given to somebody else. I said it before I pulled the card. This is this is a major choice. Somebody is making a major choice in regards to love. There's consequences. We have one contract that is ending and a new contract that is beginning. This is a healing love. This is falling in love with somebody that you have a lot in common with. This could be a new work contract as well. This could have to do with a business or a relationship. It could go either way. This is a one contract ending and a new contract beginning that is better suited. This is on the path to recovery. Six, six, six. 666 is getting your life back on track. Taking back control from this tyrant, narcissist. And heading down that path to balance and harmony and healing. There's a healing love or there's a healing contract or there's a perfect match that is being brought in right now. Rest assured that the person that abused you, they're gonna lose it all. They are. I mean, what, what can I say? This, and it may take time could take 10 years for them to lose it all. It's short-lived success. Could take one year. I think in 2020, this narcissist's life started going to hell. And it's only downhill from there. This person is, does things illegally and they will be judged for it. 
So I feel like this week there is a new connection. There's a new contract, a new opportunity here that is better suited. This is definitely a healing energy. This is a wish being granted. Re rejection is God's protection. This will help somebody to heal from their broken heart. This is a perfect match. This is, this is like Cupid bringing two people together that are meant to be. This is a dream come true with that star card. And that's what I got. Good luck.